Hi there, property entrepreneurs. Today we're at the uh, Property Investor Awards Judging Day. Now, the Property Investor Awards is a big national event for property investors. Um, the actual event itself takes place on the 30th of November in central London. 500 people attend, all dressed up in their bow ties and ball gowns to celebrate excellence in property investment and develop development. So, what we're at today is the Judging Day. Now, there are 19 esteemed judges. Uh, I've been on the judging panel since the very beginning um, and what we do is we meet up for a whole day and go through all the nominations in all the different categories and basically vote. Um, vote for the winners, the standout deals of 2019. And what I'm going to share with you th in this video is some interviews with some of my fellow judges as they tell us what makes a standout uh, deal for 2019. What you have to do to catch their eye as a judge and win their vote. So enjoy and happy learning. So we're at the judging day at the Property Investor Awards. I'm with Kevin Wright, one of the uh, judges. Tell me, what are you looking for? What makes a, an award-winning property investor? Uh, I think uh, commitment uh, and I innovation as well. So, uh, and perseverance. Uh, property often be a lonely business and um, it's that perseverance to, to get out there and keep doing it. Uh, it's not just about the numbers and whether whether the developer or investor had a good deal on the investment, but also, you know, the scheme and the beauty of the scheme and the vision that they have and and the, you know, execution. Um, for me, the thing that stands out on a good entry is the whole package and mm -hmm. that it, it for us as judges we have to look through it and it's got to be succinct and read well um, the imagery as well is really important to look at especially for these sort of uh, before and afters seeing the real finished product after and the end user and how the end user is enjoying the space what I love about your contributions on the judging panel is you take no nonsense <laughs> no PS so what do you have to do to stand out and win your vote yeah. uh, if, you're not, if you're a nomination on this uh, award? So yeah, clearly you've got to provide proper information. Okay, so, so one of the things that does wind me up, to be honest, is, is, is you know, people are, it's awards here, right? You should be putting your best foot forward and making the best impression possible. So, you know, spelling mistakes, lacking information, dodgy information, things quite clearly not adding up. That's literally, you know, asking for a, an instant dismissal in my book, to be honest. So, um, you know, none of that. You need to be getting your numbers right um, and you, you need to be making the, the best impression you can. It's not just doing the same old, same old. It's finding either a new way of structuring something, taking an unloved property in a new area and bringing it back forward to reinvent some part of the life, or finding a new way to solve someone's living challenge, be that through an HMO or through a build-to-rent scheme. Is it just about the figures for you, the, uh, the bottom line profitability of a deal, or are you looking for anything else? The figures are important, but I think it's the way that you're delivering the product, you're delivering the end, what the end user is going to get is much more important than just necessarily looking at the ROI or your yield at the end of the day. If you want to make uh, an award winning or uh, catch a judge's eye, uh, three ways that you can catch a judge's eye. So the first is have good numbers. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, can you put uh, a, your, your deal analysis um, and present good numbers? Uh, the second way to catch a judge's eye is good design. So make sure that pictures uh, pop out and show that you're doing something uh, interesting. And the third way would be present a good story. All right. So uh, something with a human interest uh, that shows you uh, that you've done something different, you've uh, had a bit of struggle or you've persevered through. So I think, well, probably being a lender, I, I guess I'm biased initially on the figures. So, um, I mean, we looked at a bunch of, of uh, you know, loans and deals today. Um, so if if well if the figures are outstanding, that obviously means it's low risk for the for the lender, and it's also a great deal for the borrower. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking for something creative. Um, so whether that is a creative purchase, um, creative finance, or doing something creative with the end, uh, building out the end product. So at the moment, we I think we've just almost finished the HMO um, entries, and there are a couple in there that I've scored quite highly because of their. Uh, the interesting way they've approached the deal? You know, we've already been through halfway through these nominations mm -hmm. and um, what I'm looking for is actually the the deal itself, of course, and the numbers. But what I really want to see is how did they get that deal? The 
passion for their property mm-hmm. investing, why they started, their struggles. And so I want to know the person behind the property business. And so, you know, um, there's what's great as well is that we've got a lot of women um, that have nominated um, in the, in this. And so very excited about reading, reading their stories and um, finding out exactly what made them start and the tenacity and kept them going through the the hard challenges that we're all going through. So we're just having a lunch break at the Property Investors uh, Judging Day. I'm with Daryl uh, and you're, you're from Lendwell, aren't you? I am, yes. We're a specialist property lender doing refurbs, bridging, development and all sorts of finance. And you've been on the judging panel for a few years, so you know the score. Uh, we've had more nominations than ever before. 65 nominations we're going through today. Yeah. Um, but what makes a uh, standout, award-winning property deal in your eyes? Because you see them all. Yeah. What, what does it take to stand out? So I think the first thing to say is really important to know your numbers. We need to know your numbers to kind of get to the nitty gritty of is this deal profitable or not. And it goes without saying it needs to be profitable. But then after that, what I really like to see is a little bit of innovation. So it might be how you bought that property. It's a really good example of one earlier where they're working with a vendor in an Article 4 area. Or it might be how they're giving back to the community, buying some derelict stock, returning something to the housing market. It's not just about the bottom line. It's actually about what you add into society and the community and making sure that we are leaving a legacy and and you know applying a standard that mm-hmm. improves society as a whole right yes. um so i think the 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 entries that are stand out a lot of them are just beautiful ambitious projects that you just think wow like how did they even think of that how did they even how could they look at the space that's and sometimes just derelict mm-hmm. and and visualize an hmo or 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 you know a uh, co-living space whatever it is um and looking at the execution but also delivering that within a budget that's actually profitable mm-hmm. so it's so, sometimes it's just you know it's un- unbelievable. What stands out for you in terms of the kind of things that be can, people can be innovative about, say, in doing an HMO deal? Uh, I think it's uh, understanding what their target market is. You know, there, there are different HMO sectors. Um, really understanding your sector. Uh, maybe you've got some personal experience of that, either yourself at a younger age or maybe you've got children um, you know, in that uh, looking for an HMO room thing. And it, that's, I think, the... Uh, I think that's the, the thing really is to, is to understand your, your niche audience, whether it's students, professionals, blue collar, contractors, whatever it is. Yeah, so I think uh, I think it's a great point. So the, the market was very different three or four years ago where um, it, it, downside protection was almost less important because it's very likely the property market was going up. A lot of deals, even if they weren't fantastic, everyone did well out of them. Um, so we're really looking for uh, borrowers or investors who are looking carefully at what's a downside. And so one of the ways to mitigate that in the current market is making sure that there's good rental yields. So if, if um, because that, that will allow them to refinance if they can't sell um, at the end of the project. Um, and it also means that after they refinance, they're going to still be able to make good profit. Here's what I find uh, in doing this judging, you see certain patterns and you just kind of know from looking at uh, certain things are always uh, successful. So in in category today where we've seen it, where uh, we had one or two things where we were uh, not sure and we wanted to clarify uh, and we were just, uh, you know, picking up the phone and speaking to uh, the people and their just ability, you know, you ask them, you just throw them literally anything uh, and they come up and can know their numbers um, and they know why they were doing it. And also a lot of the categories, they were able to do the deal, refinance, not have too much money in, and they were already on to the next one. So again, what it clarified to me was um, people analyze the deals, they know their exit, they know uh, how they're getting, you know, their uplift from planning gain, uh, uh, good design or uh, good rentals. So it just, it's good reinforcement. That's why I like uh, being a judge. It's the way I kind of check myself to see what all the best in the industry are doing, because that's what the nominees are there. Um, And we see, the consistent ideas that working through so the plodders you know the people who are just doing a a good idea and they're just moving along then you get the people who are just doing 
the, the big deal that they want to really test their mm -hmm. skills on um, and it's a mixture of all those activities. There's not just one developer out there, there's, there's, we're looking at multiple entries for categories and it's just that that's something that marks you out and stands you out as different from the others is so important because otherwise you know we can't give everyone a 10 out of 10. That's true. Right? If you enjoyed this video hit the like button, if you're not a subscriber what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the bell icon, as soon as we upload we'll let you know. And enjoy these, they're all dedicated to helping you be more successful in property. Happy investing!